and terminating the wires on the outdoor unit and this is a Mr. B sheet electric mini split system uh, I am actually using my Testo 557 digital manifolds um, this is a great tool it comes with vacuum sensor and uh, this doesn't come with it this is a separate hose that I have this vacuum hose I just put it in the case and you have um, temperature sensors now this gauge is able to uh, work by Bluetooth wirelessly for monitoring charging and uh, pressures and temperatures but let me get close to this this is the tag name tag it is a 36,000 BTUs with four indoor units I am actually using uh, three sixes uh, three six thousand BTUs and one eighteen thousand BTUs. Okay, so there's four indoor units. Now, if you can see right now, I've been testing for over an hour now, and uh, I've only lost 0.3 psi. That's nothing. <laughs> All right, so this we have no leaks. We're good to go. Uh, I didn't need to go for one hour and 40 minutes or this long it's just that I left this, the gauges on the system because I was doing other things um, here's my vacuum pump uh, but if you want to know where you connect this is where you connect it's only one port and this is actually the low side the suction pipe or gas pipe as you may Right. And you know, Mr. V, she's you know, you set it up one entry, one port connected, and you get all four indoor units. There's no isolation valve like the other manufacturers where you have to do independent ear handlers are one by one where you have isolation valves. There's no valves here, it's just one header. Okay, so here you have your wire connections and as you can see i have all of them color coded the same way this makes um simple this makes the job more simple okay so if you're a pro i would definitely advise to get yourself a pair of these because like I said, I didn't have to wait one hour or this long. It's just that I was, you know, fixing my pipes, securing my pipes and insulation and stuff. Because while I was doing the flares over here, um, you know, I have to cut back on insulation, peel it back. So, you know, how you can see the wire ties. Okay, these are zip ties. So I was getting all these, you know, fixed and neat, secured in the meantime. You know, so it's the reason why it's been uh, one hour and 40 minutes since I've been doing the test. However, I would have known, I've known since five minutes into it that, you know, I have no leaks because it's digital, digital gauges and, you know, it's precise, precision. You will see that after five minutes, your pressures only are not move at all. You're good to go. If you're using the regular analog gauge manifold system you will have to wait you know a substantial amount of time in order for you to determine if you have a leak or not and it's the reason why you know I suggest that uh, if you are a pro you should invest in a pair of these and again you can find these on my links to these uh, I'll leave the links to these in, uh, in uh, the video description or you can also visit my uh, website uh, 
d2dny.com. All right, so it's just a quick walk around. Let the install. Let's see. This is actually on the roof. All right. So this here is your service disconnect. Number 10 wires, which is good for this. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead right now and uh, release the nitrogen. Okay, so I'm and stop this test. I'm go ahead. Now, this is how you do this on this gauge. If you, I did a video of this gauge using the app. Check it out. So I'm going to stop that. You know, because I'm good. Alright. And then we'll go right after this. I'm going to mold. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and release the nitrogen right now. Because I'm good to go. Getting ready to do the back of the system. More system and larger systems, yes, I'll do that. So I'm not gonna use this. This should be good enough. And this vacuum pump it has multiple ports and multiple sizes. So if I was using the larger hose, it would be on this one, and then even have a bigger one here. This is, even, this is even bigger, this is the biggest one. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Alright, perhaps I'll break this video down into two sections. We'll see. Okay, and I am on the roof right now, it's really, really cold. Yes, I'm going to be using the same high side port. You know, it does show the vacuum as well. So I'm going to leave the high side port at the gate behind the gauges. I won't move it to the low side, just the same thing. Okay. Typically, Both sides will be able to show me vacuum and I will not be using a American gauge. Okay. I'm satisfied that uh, I have no leaks and I have protected my pipes. My pipes were sealed. So This will suffice. No microns today. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll go ahead and look. Right here. Ooh, already, see that? 
going down into a vacuum. Alright, so I made one of the video. Condenser come pre-charged from the factory. And you'd have to remove these caps right here. And use the Allen key, our Allen wrench, and release the refrigerant that's currently in the condenser from the factory. And while the vacuum pump doing its thing, and it's going to be a quick vacuum because again, there's not much. See, we already had. 28 inches of vacuum and don't mind that your r 47 c you know this gauge you can it's just that i got that refrigerant selected i was using and the last time was using this gauge but that can be changed to whatever refrigerant you're, you're working with 